So we're going to talk about how to use turmeric, and uh, turmeric is a real favorite of mine. Uh, how about you, Mercer? It's yeah, very so many studies about turmeric. It's, it's yeah. antiviral, antibacterial. It's anti-cancer. Um, um, mm, it's yeah. it, it will bring fevers down. You know, it's just incredibly powerful. Um, to, very anti-inflammatory, and it's something that um, people can can do daily, right? Yeah. So um, why don't you show us how you incorporate the use of turmeric in a tea um, mm -hmm. for the people that, that mm -hmm. have leaky gut? So this is the fresh turmeric and this is the fresh ginger. Okay. So we get about one inch, just a slice it. Mm -hmm. And when you boil it, it stimulates better the components, healing components. So in this case, we want to heat up the, the turmeric and the ginger because that actually helps with increasing the uh, potency of it. And um, you're um, using both turmeric as well as garlic. This I mean, ginger. ginger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, ginger is also very anti-inflammatory, right, and anti-carcinogen. Um, so, but um, we don't use this like a, every week. Right? Every, okay, so yeah. ginger is something that you want to give your body a break from. And there are certain mm -hmm. herbs that, um, that are the same. Uh, for instance, echinacea, mm -hmm. it will stimulate the immune system. And so it's something that you don't want to be taking every single day. You want to give your body a break from it, right? Yes, especially with all immune disorders. Right. Leaky gut is already overstimulated. Right. Okay, so this is about, you know, maybe uh, two cups of water and um, we're using an inch of the turmeric, an inch of the ginger, and maybe you'll do that one week. And then another week you'll just use um, turmeric by itself. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, what you're going to do? Yeah, that's, that's what we like to do and because turmeric you can use it every day. Okay. You know, in Indian they eat turmeric every day. Right, right. Uh, yeah. So this is a tea that you can drink um, and it's it tastes great. Um, I, mm. I use this especially when I get sick and I'm trying to boost my immune mm. system. It's really good for doing that. I noticed You were mentioning also that it helps for pain, right? Uh, turmeric is wonderful. Yeah. Um, I think because of its anti-inflammatory effects, a lot of people who use turmeric will report that there that it does help them for overall um, aches mm -hmm. and pains. Yeah, and you were saying also one time that it, it works pretty fast. It, and it works very fast. I've noticed that myself. Mm -hmm. You notice it pretty yes. much right away. Um, so what is this here that we have? Okay, so we have a, an, a different way to do turmeric. Okay. And uh, they said also, right, we, we read some studies that said that the fat also um, right, so that you're better able to absorb mm -hmm. um, the effects, uh, what you're trying to get from turmeric with mm -hmm. fat. Mm -hmm. so but they also recommend using it with um, uh, pepper, right? Yeah, yes, yes. So but what do you think about that? You know, that stimulates too much the digestive system and, you know, we already had affected the digestive system. So. Uh -huh. It's a little controversial, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people say it's so good, but you know, there's other ways also to do it. And you know, this is the thing, you know, a lot mm. of people take curcumin, which is one of the um, components of turmeric. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they will purchase um, curcumin supplements and they find these to be very helpful. And I think that they are. Um, but the other thing to know is that it's not just curcumin that has the anti-inflammatory mm. effects. There are so many components of turmeric that have been found to be anti-inflammatory. And so you're missing out on all of that when you just get the curcumin. Yes. Um, so this is turmeric powder that we have. And how much turmeric powder is here? This is one teaspoon of turmeric powder and one four cup of coconut milk. Okay. So we just mix it and then we put about half a teaspoon of honey. You can put a little stevia mm -hmm. and just mix it. And uh, my husband said that it's like a dessert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And some people who don't like turmeric, they will, um, they kind of get used to, to this, yeah. right? And it's a very pleasant taste. Yeah, this way. If you do a different way, some people don't like it. 
to make. You know, this is the great thing. When I um, first had my issues, I took turmeric in a in it, a shaker and I would take it to um, work with me and I would put it on my food. And um, you have to get used to the flavor. Um, some people really just don't like it. But for those of us who um, have experienced the healing effects of it, you know, it's not bad. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, you just put it on a small part of your food so you can get it over with and then you can keep on going. Yes. So um, here you have turmeric tea um, and turmeric uh, with coconut milk. And so these are two different variations. You can also put turmeric in your food, but try to get a significant amount of turmeric every day.